Mark Rogers TV combing through the ESPN top 300 recruits for 2018. We stop at one of the highest places with uh, Keandre Coburn, a top 10 defensive tackle out of Houston, Texas, uh, more specifically Westfield, Texas. Uh, Keandre, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing just fine. Thanks for uh, joining us today and talking about uh, – your, your football career as it stands right now, uh, obviously going into that senior season, uh, I'm sure you're working out every day. Uh, uh, what, what's that process like, trying to get ready for your senior season, also knowing that uh, you're being evaluated? Um, it's a blast, to be honest, um, but it's kind of like it happened so fast and I'm a senior, but I work out every day, uh, especially with my team, really kind of slow down recruiting to worry about my senior season, you know, trying to win this championship. Um, and that's really it right now. So you talked about uh, your high school team right now. Uh, how good was the team last year? How'd you do? And uh, what, what are your goals for this year? You said a state championship, so that's about as high as you can you can set the bar. Um, last year's team was really good. Uh, everybody doubted us, thinking we wasn't going to be nothing. Uh, we started off rough, was 0-3. Um, we got back up and went – to a fourth round loss, but you know we made it to the fourth round. That was actually kind of good. Nobody thought we were going to make it past the first round. Um, came a little short, lost by three points. Really should have won, but that's you know that's the mistakes we're going to come all season and take care of, so we can go farther than that this year. Um, last season, um, I did pretty good. Um, feel like I can do better. Um, this year, I'm trying to go all out. Um, and to be honest, we just – the whole team, you know, every, we got a lot of people, lot of people um, returning back. to. Um, so, you know, we never know what, what's going to happen, to be honest. In, in addition to uh, your talents and in, in addition to what you bring uh, in, in terms of on-the-field uh, ability, uh, can you talk about your role on the team? Uh, do you consider yourself a vocal leader or somebody who shows uh, more by example? Oh, yeah. Um, showing these guys how it's, you know, in the world, like, to be honest, like, you can make it without, you know, being something, to be honest. Because I never thought I'd have all these offers and all that, to be honest. Um, I learned from Ed, you know, before me in Cleveland and all them. So they taught me and I'm teaching them the sense that they taught me. And, um, I feel like I'm a leader because I showed them everything, how to make it and steps to make it. Um, my coaches um, – Tell me all the time, pick your guys up and all that. I try every day. You know, it's not about words. It's about action. So I got to show by my actions. I got to be there every day. Do Everything I'm telling them to do, I got to do the same thing and do it better. But that's what I feel like I, I'm doing for the team. So you're working hard every day. How do you think you're going to be a better player in your senior season than your junior season? Obviously, the, the ceiling, there's not a whole lot there. You're an exceptional player right now. How are you going to be even better? Um, because I've been through it for a while. <laughs> it, it's kind of funny, though. But um, because I know the game now, I'm just learning it and just getting better each day. So I feel like I'm going to be better. Well, you've got uh, offers from all over the place. Uh, and again, as we mentioned off the top, one of the top 10 rated players at your position. What do the coaches say about your ability? Why you're a standout? What What do you bring to the table? Um, they say I bring out like this motor. I, I don't quit on no plays. I keep going. Um, I stay low sometimes. They say sometimes, you know, I don't stay low all the time, which I should. Um, they say I use my hands very good. I say I'm a run stopper. They say I can get to the pass. I get to the quarterback. Um, I'm just a some, – some, some of them say I'm just a lead D lineman, so I'm just going to learn from that and do for my mistakes and my um, weaknesses and just learn and get better from it. We're joined by Keandre Coburn. He's rated uh, the ninth best defensive tackle in the country, according to 247 Sports, uh, out of Houston, Westfield uh, High School. So uh, before we talk about uh, recruiting process and, and how that's going, well, what is the deal in Houston? We know that there's been a population explosion over the last couple of decades, but uh, Houston's become maybe the best a base of high school football talent in the country. It's just amazing how many of you guys can play down there. 
Man, Texas is, like they said, Texas is football state. Uh, it's nothing but talent in Texas. So for me to be number one deep lineman in Texas is kind of a blessing. But it's so much talent down here. You could get from any position you want, kicker to quarterback to snapper, you know. We just bless in Texas. Just we, we breed and eat football, you know. So you can pretty much determine at this point, uh, Keandre, obviously because of your ability, where you would like to go. But uh, when you're choosing a school, what are those uh, things that you're looking for? Uh, I'm looking for another family because, you know, I'm, I got a big family out here, um, nine siblings, you know, a lot of cousins. So I'm just looking for another family just to live with. Uh, I'm looking for coaches that's going to tell the truth and want to win more than I want to win, you know, and just – just for me just to help them win that. But that's what I'm looking for. That's another family. So you can definitely have a checklist, but then there's something about just the, the feel, feeling a part of it, feeling a fit, feeling like the coaches uh, care about you, feeling like you can trust them. So so that's definitely, you got to go uh, kind of with the head, kind of with the heart, it sounds like. And yeah, also looking for environment. I'm looking for a fan base that loves their team. You know, It's not about the names of the players, just love their team, period. I don't care if we're losing or winning. Well, it looks from the offer list uh, that obviously extends from coast to coast, but uh, a number of the top schools right there in Texas, uh, Texas, Texas A&M, TCU. Do you have a list? Have you narrowed it down at all? No, I haven't narrowed it down yet. Um, some of them schools are up top. Um, most of them schools are up top right there. Um, really, every school right now is on the same boat. I really haven't. I know because they all gave me opportunity to go to college for free. So I'm just going to take my time and just look at every school and see which one I want to go to. Very good. Yeah, you, you have a number of guys, obviously, around the country that are committing at this point. You've got 11 more months to decide that. So uh, you can take your uh, official visits and, and take all the time you need. Uh, do you think you will take it all the way to National Signing Day? Um, That was my plan, but might not. I don't know. It just depends how I feel. Uh, I'm going to start evaluating probably after spring ball, probably done spring ball, the schools, you know, my little top list, and then take it serious to look at the schools I really want to go to. So probably before then or probably then, I don't know. Keandre Coburn, one of the 10 best defensive tackles in the country, according to all the major recruiting services, top defensive tackle there in the rich state of Texas. Keandre, we appreciate you taking uh, time out of your day to, to talk about uh, your decision, talk about your football playing ability, and we sure – would love to talk to you in the future and, and know that we'll be seeing you on the field uh, playing in some big ball games. Yes, sir.